Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just got done filming my Bantu Not Out video. So, if you want to see how I achieved this look, you can check out the my video that I will have on it. I think I'm going to be posting this video first before that one in my channel. So, right now, I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. I'm going to do a natural makeup look today. Before we get into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to take my two primers. I have this Lancome one called La Base and then this L'Oreal L'Oreal Magic one. I'm just gonna mix these two. Okay. And my mirror is over here so I'll be looking at that from time to time. So the foundation I've been using is the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Lumi foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and pump my Oh! Actually no. I forgot a step. So first, before I put on my foundation, actually, I started color correcting under my eyes. Now, this is not a color corrector I know. I just don't own any actual color correctors, so I used the next best thing, and that was this concealer. And doing this just make, made my under eye color just look a little more uniform and brighter in my opinion when I put on my foundation and makeup on top of it this looked the color just looked more even most of my channel is going to be on natural hair and makeup and that sort of thing and it's been about a month since I've almost no over a month since I've been back and I have yet to put out a makeup video I mean I have that old one back from two years ago but not gonna lie it needs major updating so yeah Okay, so that's blended enough, I guess. Blended enough. Now we can go ahead and put on some foundation. I'm also going to be exploring new foundations once, you know, stores open up because I want to get more into higher end products. From the few I've tried, I definitely notice a difference between higher end foundation and drugstore foundation. There is a legit clear difference, at least from the ones I've tried. I guess because the quality of the products are usually higher when it's um when it's higher end brands. Okay, now Next, I'm going to go ahead and just do my brows. So for my brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade. First, I'm going to go ahead and brush. I actually start from the mid. Then I go... Okay, so now I'm going to take my LA Pro, Con Pro Conceal and go over my brows. Usually most people would start their start lining their brows with concealer at the very front, but it just to me it just makes it look so block makes your brows look so blocky and unnatural. So what I do instead is I start the concealer lining in the middle. Like right around here and just leave that front area alone. Okay, like so and then I can go ahead and blend that out with my brush and then beauty blender let me do this side I did okay and just go ahead and move them down oh I should have said the shade of concealer I'm using in LA Pro 
is fun. <laughs> the shade it, of Anastasia I'm using is Ebony. And then I'm wearing the shade Nut Brown Cocoa in Cool for foundation. Let me go just blend this out with my Beauty Blender sponge and then I'll return to the video. But on to highlighting and contouring. Excuse me. Okay, so today's makeup is supposed to be a natural beat. So we're gonna be beat, but it's gonna look more natural than glam. And so for that kind of look, I love using Riri's Fenty Match Sticks in the shade Espresso for contouring, suede for, for concealing, highlighting under, and then cinnamon as a highlighter. I think these just look perfect on your face whenever you're doing a more natural look. And I just love these sticks, honestly, because they're so they're so easy to use. So we're going to go ahead and highlight under my eyes with the shade Suede. And I just love how her concealers just go on so easily. And they blend really easily too. I forgot to color correct under my on under my nose here. I usually do that. I just forgot to this time. I take my damp beauty sponge. Oops. Let's keep doing that. And I'm going to I'm going to set my under eye and the thing is how most people set their under eyes they would bake to do that but I've I'm straying away from baking actually because I find that when I bake okay more specifically when I bake with this powder I bake with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I know it was all the rave at one point. I've never used any setting powders before other than this one. So I don't know how others are, but I find that when I bake with this powder, it makes my under eye just look too it it just makes my under eye look too bright. Like so when I bake with it, and put like pack all that powder on my eye and let it sit there and cook and then wipe it off it makes my just eye look bright and I'm not a fan of that the whole angel wing on the face like but the other problem with me and baking is that when I when you bake you always have to take some kind of brush that you can sweep the powder off I find that when I do that it ends up it's like little particles of the powder end up on the rest of my face and it just because of the drying the drying factor of powders it makes my face look more textured when I'm wearing makeup and I'm I don't like that instead of baking I'm going to just only touch my powder to my sponge to the powder and then I would press it in, not bake. Well, I'd press it in and not pack a whole bunch of stuff in it. Just press the powder in. Keep looking up and then set. Now, after pressing in a little powder under my eye and my other areas, I'll take my setting spray. Right now I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. I do like this spray. I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to use my setting spray to set my under eye concealer. I find that this works I feel in my opinion just as well as baking to me if not better 
than powder to keep my face together. And then just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and spray my whole face. I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty's Shade Espresso. Uh, contour my chin. Take the setting spray. The only palettes I've been using right now are the are my two Juvia's Place palettes. Okay, let me go ahead, prime my eyelids, then I'll be back. Okay. So now, this is supposed to be a natural look, so I'm not going to try to do any fancy colors. I'm going to do my crease with this brown shade do my crease okay okay so I'm back I just had to test out some colors with this eye but I think I got it now so I'm going to use I'm going to be blending this color throughout my lid so I'm going to first take it pack it onto my lid Then I'm gonna go back in with my transition color again. Then I went in with a lighter color to blend into my crease. So it was this color I used. That off. Okay, so I've done my eyeliner and my lashes. I think I want to go under my eye with some brown. So for blood, for highlight, my highlighter is going to be again the Matchstick in Cinnamon. Okay, I think that's enough. Just blend my highlights out. Okay. Now the blush I love using is in this palette. This palette is not a blush palette but I really enjoy using this shade Morocco here in the Nubian 2 as blush. Okay, some color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more color by using my glow up highlighter from ColourPop. I don't know if they still sell this highlight anymore. I have a, another setting spray that I got from Walmart called the Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. Now, in my opinion, this does not this works pretty good, but not as well as my Urban Decay. But this does ten times better at making my face glow than the Urban Decay one does. So when I'm done with it, doing all the makeup that I want to do. I will first spray this okay and it's like an instant glow then I'll take to actually set I'll take my chill and then I'll spray all over the part that I'm very excited for has finally arrived and that's my new Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade chocolate. It is very pretty. Dark skinned people who wear makeup, I think this is a good shade. Now her lip glosses don't tend to be crazy pigmented, but for her lip glosses, I really do like this one. I'm gonna line my lips in this brown shade. Now let's go ahead, try this balm. And it smells so delicious, like. Oh. Jesus Christ. Ooh. This is the completed look. This is more of my natural soft 
glammy look and the lip gloss is popping. Okay, so if you like this video, let me know by liking down below and also subscribing to my channel. Thank you for helping me reach to over 50 new over 50 subscribers. Now the goal is 100. So please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Just three things and I'll see you next time.